Hey guys, I'm back. Um, this is going to be my second tutorial. And this is actually going to be a part of... This look that I have on currently is um, going to be a part of a series that I'm starting. Um, my smoky eye uh, collection that I do. Um, I would consider like smoky eyes, I guess, to be my specialty. I really like smoky eyes. And so I wanted to do a daytime smoky eye. Hopefully you can see. Um, cause I guess the big misconception is that you can only wear smoky eye, um, during the nighttime when you're going out for dinner or whatever, whatever, the sun has to be down, but that's not necessarily true. And this look you can wear in the daytime. I mean, I'm sorry, in the nighttime, you just kind of have to maybe smoke it out a little bit more and intensify it. Um, but yeah, if you want to know how I did this look, the natural, natural, it is a natural look, actually, natural smoky eye for the day, um, just stay tuned. Alright guys, see you later. Okay guys, so the first thing, as you will all know, is I'll be applying my base. And I usually, I just use my fingers. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You can use a brush, but that's not what I do. And this, by the way, if I didn't already say it, is uh, NYX, NYX Base in Skin Tone. Uh, uh, some of it got on the bottom. All right, and just be sure I blend that out very well. Just, I just want a blank canvas. All right. Hmm. And I'll be creating this look solely by using my Shaney. Um, it's a 96 palette, and I'm going to be using the neutral side. Y'all can't even see that. <laughs> But to start, I'm going to be using my Sonia Small Eyeshadow. I'm sorry. This name always makes me tongue-tied. Sonia Kashuk Eyeshadow Brush. Got to get used to the camera. And the first color I'm going to be using, and I'll show you guys. Um, Actually, no. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't take. Actually, taking my blending brush blending brush. Same. Still using the palette. Um, but I'm going to be using, let's see if I can find it for you guys. Ugh, this camera is complicated. I believe it's this color I'm going to be using. It's just a base. It's a tan color. So any matte tan will do. Take your blending brush okay I'm just trying to make sure you guys can see it and you just want to apply the matte tan color in the crease And start to blend about halfway to the brow bone, but not completely. All right. Now I'm taking my Sony, my small Sony uh, Kashuk eyeshadow brush, and what color did I? Yeah, I'm gonna be. It's a soft eggshell like ivory color it almost has some shimmers in it so you can see it and I'm gonna just be base um, apply that to my whole lid and just press press it on there
and then you can start to blend that eggshell color with the tan color and apply as much of the eggshell color as needed. Which I I use a little I use quite a bit. Mm -mm. Alright, so that's what you should have so far. And now I'm going to be taking a matte silver color. Let's see. Yep, that color right there. this color same uh, small brush and then I'm gonna be putting that on the outer corner of my eye and blend it down and out down and out mm -mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. then you want to take just a basic any matte black and you want to get just a little bit on the brush and you're going to take that the very corner of the eye And you also want to blend it down, down and out, and kind of slightly form a V on the very outer. And then I'm going to be taking my blending brush and just blending that black out because you don't want it to be too harsh because it is for the daytime all right now for our highlighter um, I'm gonna be using it's almost like a, a light peach with some shimmers I'm using that for my highlight. And this is how I do my highlight. And you kind of want to start to blend that down just a little bit to meet where the tan is. And then I would just want to take a little bit and put it at the very, for my arches, because that's where you want it mostly, the highlight kind of concentrated. And if you need it, sometimes I'll pack it in instead of blending, because I want it to stick out like that. Okay. Now, oh Lord, I done forgot it. Did I? Oh, shoot. Oh, no, I didn't. What am I doing? Mm, all right. And then I'm going to be taking a chocolate um, matte brown, and that's what I'm going to be using for my eyeliner, for my, to line my lower lash line. Uh, okay. Mm. 
Mm, I like that. Alright. So, I already did my eyebrows. And I guess one day I'll show you guys how I do my eyebrows. But, this, this is the look. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's too much zoomed in. Oh, see, up, uh, there it goes. Mm. And if you want, of course, you can line your upper, but I feel like maybe it's just a little too much. Um, and you could even wear this look um, in nighttime, in, in nighttime too, if you're going out. You could just um, kind of intensify the, the black color. And you don't inst instantly look like a nighttime. And now I'm going to be taking, I use this uh, Maybelline Lash Stiletto for mascara. And I need my mirror. What am I doing? I'm clumsy. And I tend to do that a bit. Stab myself in the eye with the mascara brush or spool, whatever you call this, spoolie. Alright, and of course you can add uh, lashes to this if desired, but my lashes are too long, and I need um, some daytime lashes. So if you guys um, have any suggestions for what's a good lash for daytime.